introducing the challenger from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Piper. You know, all time great in the ring and on the microphone, guys. I agree. I'd love to see Saxton in Piper's pit. Oh, uh, that sounds a little too dangerous, Corey. Why, are you scared of coconuts? They do call him Rowdy for a reason. We are guaranteed to have ourselves a knockdown, drag-out fight tonight. I'm sure Hot Rod has some explosive action on tap. A man of mythical proportions, the Dragon. And from Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rick Ricky the Dragon Steamboat possesses an amazing mix of technical wrestling and high-flying ability. One of the most gifted athletes our business has ever seen. More history will be made tonight with the appearance of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So many countless memorable moments in the career of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and we are in store for another one here tonight. Sports entertainment royalty has arrived. Hail to the king, baby. And from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Jerry the King Lawler. The king has arrived. A true legend even before setting foot in WWE. I had some great battles back in the day in Memphis against Andre the Giant. Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Randy Savage. Nobody holds court quite like Jerry Lawler, a true WWE Hall of Famer. And make no mistake, the King can still drop you. He's got an explosive right hand. Oh, and don't forget about the pile driver. Only one King in sports entertainment. And folks, you're looking at him, Jerry, the King Lawler. The King ready to grace the WWE Universe with his royal presence once again. Well, hopefully they appreciate a legend like him for all he's brought to this business. Oh, I've been dreading this all day. Here comes Doink! And from True master of mind games. Doink and his evil tricks have confused many opponents in the past, and I have a feeling the same will hold true tonight. Doink makes me want to bite my fingers, chew my toes, and hide under my bed. This is a family game, Saxton. Keep your personal life personal. There is pure evil in the eyes of the clown right now. Yeah, th th there is nothing funny about what Doink is preparing to do tonight. Wait, is he looking at me, Corey? Yes, and he can't stand you. Here comes the Hulkster. And from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 303 pounds, the Immortal H Hogan. From music videos to Saturday morning cartoons,
attitudes. Hulkamania is everywhere. Including this announce table. Try to be a little unbiased, Saxton. dominance has been impressive to say the least very few can actually stand up to his power would you say he runs wild on them michael got a question for you what you gonna do when hulkamania runs wild on you byron cole huh? asked you a question and you didn't answer honky talk man is in the building Always out of tune, yet always so confident. And from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 247 pounds, the Honky Tonk Man! Claims the WWE Universe is a wonderful audience. They're not returning the favor. Oh, don't be cruel, Cole. One of the greatest intercontinental champions of all time is here live. Well, when the Honky Tonk Man is here, you always have to watch your back. He's wearing his mass guitars on opponents' backs more often than he actually plays them. We know this man's accolades. Honky Tonk Man is ready to play his greatest hits. We are in for a treat tonight. The cocky young cruiserweight. Former ECW star who has had unmatched success in WCW. And from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 205 pounds, Guerrero. From the legendary Guerrero, wrestling family. Yeah, but he doesn't need them. He's his own man now. A mean streak a mile long and uses a lot of cruel tactics in the ring. You call it cruel, I call it doing whatever it takes. Cruiserweight, but he can take on anyone. WWE Universe, behold the leader of the Ministry of Darkness. It's almost as if The Undertaker has commanded a cult-like following backstage. And introducing the champion from Death Valley, weighing in at 330 pounds. been leading the Ministry of Darkness and spreading evil in WWE. Right, but there are still so many questions about the higher power Undertaker himself claims to be at the service of. I think the question is now, who can stop the Undertaker or the Ministry? Taker's frightening power and his agility. 
but now he has the forces of evil at his side. The battle royal has begun. Let the havoc begin. An elimination. The squared circle is basically the Wild West right now. Able to give him the slip. That takes him down. He turns it around on Honky Tonk. Makes him pay with a counter. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Dodges out of the way. Look at this straight. My goodness. Headlock. Uh oh. Just a desperate attack. Breaking at the eyes. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Put it in position now. Setting up an elimination. 
position here. Control in there. I learned his aggression, just pure oh, brutality. Come on, easy. The Honky Tonk Man has been eliminated. Undertaker with a counter. Pop right in the stomach creates the separation. Heading back to the ring. position here. Who wants to dominate your opponent? I don't know how these men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. Well, that's one way. Undertaker keeps the title. Here is your winner. And still, WWE World Pro Wrestling Champion, the What a win for the champ as he retains the title. He came out here and defended what was his. You have to give him credit.